Let's move on to some other interesting uh, news that are coming to us. And Kenya is home to several prehistoric sites. But did you know that there are only a few archaeological materials that are found in their original location? Or as experts would say in uh, situ, well, in Nakuru County, the Kariandusi prehistoric site exhibits stone tools which uh, were used by Homo erectus right where the early man left them hundreds of thousands of years ago. Kenya has been described as a cradle of mankind, from famous archaeological discoveries such as the Trucano Boy and with prehistoric sites scattered along the Rift Valley, the country has an archaeological treasure chest. But it is in Nakuru County that we find a unique peek into the operations of Ali Man. Homo erectus, or the upright man, is said to have walked the earth some 700,000 to 1.4 million years ago. And in Nakuru, experts say there is evidence to prove that Homo erectus was actually here. Welcome to the Kariandusi prehistoric site, Ali Man's stone factory site. But this site is unique. The stone tools are right where Homo erectus left them. It's the only uh, site that uh, exhibits the Stone Age tradition in situ. As uh, what I mean is that uh, where the discovery was done. The site was discovered in 1928 by Dr. Louis Leakey and was excavated from 1929 to 1931. And Homo erectus, a hunter and gatherer, had it all figured out when it came to tools for different purposes. To design tools, this was used, a hammer stone. Homo erectus also had a hand axe. You see it has a sharp point and a rounded butt. They are known as hand axes because prehistoric people were not fitting it to any handle. You are probably holding them, holding them directly this way. And they were used or probably used to extract roots underground to dig up edible roots or used as a weapon while hunting by drawing it in a discus style, aiming the sharp point to an animal. The cleaver, which has two straight cutting edges, was used to cut meat into pieces or to scrap animal skin. The bowler stone, too, had its purpose. Probably used to smash bones, to extract the bone marrows. And uh, that has been found out because some of these bowlers has been magnified and they have been found that it contained traces of bones. When making the tools, the flakes that came off the process did not go to waste. So flakes were also applied in more delicate work like skinning. They used the flakes to remove the animal skin. According to archaeologists, this area was once upon a time a settlement for Aliman. But rising water levels of the Nakuru, Naivasha and Elementaita lakes drove away the human ancestor from here and buried the tools which were left behind when Homo erectus left in a half. At Kariandusi, you will also find the mola of a species of a straight tusked elephant, now extinct. The prehistoric site holds a wealth of information on the journey of evolution and is a favorite for pupils, students and researchers. And Kariandusi is one of the sites that they, they are able to see uh, the particular stage where the uh, Homo erectus, uh, the, uh, during the period of the Homo erectus and the tools it made, the history lessons here come with some practicals on how to make stone tools just as Aliman did. The Kariandusi prehistoric site may hold the earliest evidence of man's ancestors, but it is not all about ancient life. The gorge at the site and the nearby area, which is said to have been covered by water some one million years ago, is now a diatomite mining area. In that prehistoric lake, they drive millions of microscopic plants known as diatom. And when the plants were dying, the shells, the remains of those plants were gradually deposited in the bottom of the lake to compress and eventually form this white porous chocolate material known as diatomite. To the layman, a first glance at these stones and they would pass for just that, stones. But to archaeologists, paleontologists and geologists, these stone tools hold priceless clues that have over the years helped us together the journey of evolution. Rita Tinina, KTN, at the Kariandusi prehistoric site, Nakuru County.